There's been an advance in a 60-year-old uh, maths problem, um, a maths problem which was uh, related to the four-colour theorem, which is something I've mentioned before. Perhaps I should do a quick recap of what the four-colour theorem was. It's a similar sort of thing, really. The four-colour theorem said, imagine you had a map, right? And I'm just going to make up some sort of map here. And the idea was, I want to colour in this map. Uh, so that neighbouring countries are not using the same colour. Uh, so if I colour this in, it might be kind of this bit here. The idea being that any map can be done using four colours or fewer. Or in other words, there aren't any maps that need five colours. So that's true, that's a fact, right? That was proven in the 1970s. But this problem that I'm going to talk about today uh, comes from the 1950s and it's not something that's been solved yet. It's called the Hadwiger Nelson problem, catchy name. Uh, and I'm going to try and quote you what the problem is. How many colours are needed to colour the plane so that no two points at unit distance are the same colour? That's very formal. So let me just break that down. What it really means is imagine. I'm somewhere on this map here. So there I am. And I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to take a step. And my step is going to be one unit. So these might not be countries anymore. We're changing the scale of this. So we're taking a walk. And I want to go one unit. Maybe that's one unit, whatever that means. And then take another step. And I'll take one unit step. And every time I take a step, I want to step onto a different colour. I want the colour to change each time I step. So I'm going to go for a walk. I want to change the colour, change the colour, okay, change the colour again. I could step back to here, change the colour again, change the colour again. Uh, I could just go over here. But then, for example, I couldn't walk this way. Because if I take a one unit step over here, I wouldn't be changing the colour. So the question is, is there a way to colour the plane? So imagine this as an infinite map. Is there a way to colour it so that I can take a walk, always changing the colour? Can I do it so I can take any walk? So any walk that I care to do, I will always be changing the colour with each step I take. And that's the question. No matter what direction you go. No matter what direction you pick, no matter what uh, walk that I choose to do, every step lands on a different colour. Well, for a start, there is a solution to this. Uh, seven colours work. We can do it with seven colours. And we can prove that really, really quickly. You take the infinite plane, we're going to tile it with hexagons. So I've got now a little unit of hexagons. I've got seven hexagons there, and I've used seven colours. And now I'm just going to repeat this over and over. So I'm going to repeat this. So I'm creating a pattern of colours with my hexagons. Now all I need to do to solve this problem is imagine the diameter of those hexagons was less than one. Slightly less than one. That means that every step I take would be onto a different hexagon. So I could start here and every step I take would have to be on a different hexagon, which is a different colour. I'll just add one thing though. We wouldn't want uh, to step from this purple hexagon onto the next purple hexagon, which means I want this distance to be greater than one, which means the diameter of your hexagons need to be less than one and greater than 0.76. Fine. Fine, that's all you need. So take the hexagons to be 0.9 and the problem is solved. You can walk around that hexagon infinite plane and change the colour with each step. And even if I wanted to step on one of the same colour, couldn't do it. Even if you wanted to, even if you tried, you can't because those hexagons are chosen so that you can't step onto the colour trite in a way. Cool. What's it's the problem? Exactly. What's the problem? So we definitely have a solution and it can be done for seven. So the question is, can it be done for six colours? Or can we do it with five colours? Four, three, two, right? How many colours, what's the fewest colours we can do this with? So we can eliminate some of the answers really quickly. You can't do it with two. I'll show you that. So imagine we try to do it with two. So all I'm going to draw out is the walk. I'm just going to draw a walk. So I'm walking in a triangle, an equilateral triangle. Now let's try and colour this walk. So let's say I start in the uh, green region and then take a step and I want it to change colour. So now I've stepped onto a blue region. Then I want to take another step and I want to change colour. Now I've only got two colours available. So I'm going to have to step onto a green region here, but that means if I want to step back to where I started, and there's no reason why I can't do that, I'm not changing the colour. I'm stepping from green to green. That's not allowed. This is an example of a walk that can't be done with two colours. It can be done with three colours, but it can't be done with two. 
What about three? Well, again, there's an example that shows you can't do it with three. So same sort of idea. Here's a specific example. Every step there in that shape is one unit. So you're walking around that path, great. But can I do this with three colors? Let's start with green, and then I move on to the next step, or it might be blue. Now, I want to step here. This has to be a different color. So let's have a different color. Let's have red. Now, if I want to step onto the next one, uh, well, it can't be red. So let's make it, oh, it can't be green as well, because I don't want to step back to the green. So it has to be blue. So that one's blue. Okay, now what, if I take another step, I think I've got a choice here. Um, I don't I think I can choose my color. I'm going to choose green here for the middle. Now for this, if I take one step up, oh, it can't be green, it can't be blue, uh, so it's red. And now if I step down to here, it can't be blue, green or red, so I need a fourth colour. I can't do it with three, it can be done with four. And then that's where we got to. 60 years ago, that's as far as we got. We showed that it can be done with seven, it can't be done with two, it can't be done with three. So maybe it could be done with four, five, six, and seven we know definitely true. Uh, and that's where we were, 60 years until recently. So in 2018, uh, an amateur mathematician found a walk, an example of a walk that can't be done with four, which means it can only be done with five, which means four is not a solution. So we've eliminated four colors from this problem. So I call him an amateur mathematician. I think that's a bit of a disservice. This is a person called Aubrey de Grey, who is a biologist who's famous in his own right, in his own field. He works in anti-aging. He's a very interesting guy himself, uh, but he does maths for fun, right? And this was a problem he was trying to do for fun. And so he came up with a walk that can't be done with four colors. And what he did is he took this example. It's got a name, it's called the Mosner Spindle, a strange name. And he made copies of that, which he fused together. So he fused together lots of copies of this, and he created this monster, this monster network of 20,000 points. Huge thing. And then he got a computer to show that four colors are not enough. It can't be colored in with four, and it can be colored in with five. Fantastic, which eliminates four uh, for the first time in 60 years. He then improved that. He wanted to find a smaller example, smaller than this monster, uh, he got an example that's, I think, 1,581 points. So that's much better, right? It's a much smaller example, but it's the same thing. It's an example that can't be colored with four colors, can be done with five. So then he published this and uh, mathematicians got stuck in. Uh, they said, well, can we do better? Can we find a smaller one? The smallest we've found so far is uh, this one here. So this is a walk found by Martin uh, Hooley, uh, who we have mentioned before. Uh, we talked about this guy. Um, he coloured in the Pythagorean triples. We did a, a video about Pythagorean triples and colouring them red and blue. Similar sort of problem. And he found this example. It's a walk with 533 points that needs five colours. Uh, so we've got red, green, blue and yellow. And then the fifth colour is white, which is used only once, right there in the centre. This episode has been brought to you by Brilliant, the website that's full of questions and quizzes and puzzles and courses and all sorts of things to make you smarter. You're seeing some examples on the screen right now. They have all sorts of new things every day. But they're not just dumping stuff on the website, all sorts of weird conundrums for you to solve. Everything on Brilliant has been designed with a purpose in mind, and that's to really make the people using it smarter, to change the way you think, to make you a better problem solver. It's really about enriching the people who use Brilliant, not just giving them questions and then marks out of 10. There's loads of stuff on the Brilliant site you can look at for free, so go ahead and do that. If you sign up for their premium subscription, which gives you access to everything, you can get 20% off that by going to brilliant.org slash number file. 20% off, and they know you came from here. Now, if I've done my job correctly, the URL should be down below me right now and down in the video description.